In case you missed it, Brompton recently released this new series of Brompton Electrics with the motor in the rear wheel and for the first time including the T-Line Electric. We put a link to our introduction video in the description. We've now had our Brompton Electrics, the Emotique, or we call it the Emo, for a short period of time and we've been able to try them out. I am easily confused. You press the bottom button and it has taken me a little while to get used to the new control unit. So we thought we'd run through how to use the new Emotique Brompton Electric controller. This thing here or this thing here. It was introduced with the G-Line in autumn 2025. Just for information, the G-Line has it installed on the left hand side of the bars and the CPT line has it installed on the right hand side of the bars. Why is that? Well, the G line has the shifter on the right hand side and the CPT line has the shifter on the left hand side of the handlebars, so it doesn't get in the way. Now, let's talk about the display. Yes, it has a display. Presumably, these screens could all be updated with a new firmware update, so if it all changes in the future, I'm really sorry, we'll make another video. It's not touchscreen, it is a rocker mechanism, so you can use it when you've got gloves on and it's raining. It also has two buttons on the side. They are on the right hand side on the CPT and the left hand side on the G-Line. It connects to the front carrier block using a cable. Please be careful, you can easily unplug it by mistake by pulling too hard. Don't do that. The screen comes on with a really cute little Brompton logo and I'm actually a little bit upset that it's not a folding animated Brompton logo, but hey ho. Anyway, when you put the battery on the front carrier block, the screen on the controller comes on. It always comes on to the same screen, which is the only one I could use until I knew the functions of the controller. If you're like me and just want to get on and ride, this is the only screen you'll be using. If we want to name the screen, it's screen 00. It shows estimated battery range. This is based on the current assistance level and your riding style. Battery charge level. On the left, it shows which of the three screens you're in. I pretty much always ride in three or OO dot. You can change between screens with the top button, which is either on the left or the right. We will get onto them later. The main display shows lighting mode, current speed, and power assistance level. For those of you who need to wear glasses when reading, like the cameraman, the power assistance level is color coded. And because the bike was released around Halloween, they are definitely Halloween themed. Assistance level three is pumpkin orange. Assistance level two is purple witch. Assistance level one is Frankenstein green and assistance level zero, so no assistance, is ghostly grey. Just so you can remember. You can change power assistance modes by pressing on the top or the bottom of the screen, remembering it's not touchscreen, it's a rocker. Pressing the top of the rocker button changes to a higher assistance level. However, if you're in level three already, the battery flashes in disagreement that you can go any higher. Pressing the bottom of the rocker decreases the power assistance level. If you're already in level zero, it will blink at you in anger because you can't go any lower. You're not gonna go backwards. The rocker is also used to change the lighting mode. That's secret and not intuitive in any way, shape, size or form. It's magic. You press the top and hold it and it will change the setting. Cycling between on, auto sensing and off. The sensor is just here on the battery between the Brompton icon and the on off icon. The current lighting mode is also shown on the battery. I keep mine in auto because I would forget to turn it on until it's too dark to see anything. Apart from when I'm on train platforms, when I turn it off, well actually I normally just take the battery off and put it over my shoulder because I don't want to cause any trains to stop unexpectedly. There are two side buttons, as we mentioned earlier. Let's start with the bottom button, as it is actually more interesting than the top one. This is used for the walk assist and start assist modes, although the walk assist, we do actually for the job assist, because you have to walk quite promptly. 
they are two different functions and they took me a while to get my head around. Pressing the bottom button brings up this screen and you have 20 seconds to decide what to do. If you change your mind, press it again to cancel. Walk assist mode. Press the bottom of the screen and the bike will start moving. It will go up to six kilometers an hour so you can take it for a little run. As soon as you start pedaling, the assistance will stop. That is, if you've let go of the screen. Start assist mode. Same method as walk assist. You press this bottom button and you get this screen. You then have 20 seconds to decide what to do. But this time you pedal whilst pushing the bottom of the rocker. You'll get assistance to start moving until you get up to 13 kilometers an hour. Although I think ours was a bit higher than that, but maybe I read it wrong. This is extra assistance to help you get going at lights and up hills when you need that little bit of oomph. As soon as you release the screen, the extra assistance will stop and it will go back into whatever level you've got it set on. The top button. Pressing the top button changes between the screens. So, zero, zero, dot is the main screen. Zero, dot, zero shows the current trip distance and time. Dot, zero, zero shows the total distance you have traveled. This is reset when the battery is switched off or removed. This is the total distance you have done on your Brompton Electric. If you press and hold the top button, it takes you to the setup mode. Here you can adjust the units of measure between metric and imperial. So I don't want any more questions about kilometers and miles because you know who you are. You can adjust the brightness and you can adjust the orientation, which you'll need to do if you move it from the left to the right hand side of the handlebars because of personal preference. And that's a whistle stop tour of the controller. Everything for now. If you like this video about the Brompton handlebar control unit, we'd really like it if you gave us a big thumbs up. And if we missed anything, please comment in the comment section. That's below. We've now had our Brompton Electro. We've now had our Brompton Electrics. Shall I say demo bikes? I can't remember what I'm saying after that. Getting bored now. Any move is the Dalek. I told you my bottom was too big. And it's currently left blank because it's off. It is not touchscreen, it's a rocker. Let me do that again. The main display shows lighting mode, power assistance level, and I haven't got a clue what the third thing was. Mike's coming in. Assistance. The sensor is just here, between the Brompton bike icon and the battery. The and the what icon? Pressing the bottom button. Pressing the bottom button. But this time you pedal whilst hit. You get assistance to start going when you get. Hmm. I'm not going to say that. If you like this video about the Brompton control, handlebar control unit, we'd really like it if you gave us a big thumbs up. And did we miss anything? Can you comment in the comment section below? Can I do that again without the blah, 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 blah? It's awful, you can't go out anywhere without being flashed. I, I don't know, I feel like I've been in trouble this week, so maybe we should call it the emotique. We, we like to call it the emo.